All righty. We're back. We had a little brief intermission. I had to check. My stomach's growling. You're probably going to hear my stomach growling in this video. Sorry about that, guys. But we have recharged and we have refocused. You recharged. You had that peanut butter sandwich. I didn't. Well, we're buckled in for a rant. That's all I can say. Oh, you're buckling. I don't know if it's going to be that much of a rant, but let I'm me tell rant. you. I. A mini rant. A mini rant. I was working with a client first. It was a first initial consult, uh, initial training for a social media client of mine. And they were having some problems or they couldn't figure out what was going on and why nobody was having any engagement on their business page on Facebook. And they felt like they were tweeting and to nobody. I can and they were just that. very, very frustrated. So I took a look at what they were doing and they were straight out broadcasting. I'm so cool. My stuff is so cool. Some of that. I'm cool and my stuff is cool. <laughs> a, lot of pro, a lot of straight out promo stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of sharing other people's stuff, which is good. That's good, sure. But no engagement whatsoever. No social. They were not being social on social, on media. social media they weren't being social no was, <sighs> help me people 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 i love okay. you we love so, you but come on number one everyone looks for the shortcut always i don't have time for social media well then i get that get out of business <laughs> No, you don't have to be on every platform. I kid. No, you don't have to be on every platform. Feel like you need to. That's that's ridiculous. If you're feeling pressure, you need to stop that right there. Yeah, I I have my favorites. I have my favorite platforms. You have your favorite platform. Yeah. I'm yeah. on just about all of the major platforms mm -hmm. because I need to see. The changes. I need just to see the strategies. Mm -hmm. I need to. I need to be out there so that I can educate my clients. Mm -hmm. Does not mean that I need to. It's, I'm not active on them. Exactly. On so I'm not them. really active, active on them. But there might be some platforms that I am more than others because mm -hmm. I personally enjoy them. Number right. two, actually, the number one reason when why you should be on a platform is because that is where your audience is. Mm -hmm. You need to figure that out before you get into social media is find out where your audience hangs out. Yeah. That's the meat, the social media you should first try to master. Yeah. Because if you're, if your focus group is girls age 13 to 18, they're not going to be on LinkedIn. They're not. Spoiler well, alert. You yeah. should, you're supposed to say spoiler alert. Sorry about that. Spoiler, you just ruined that for me that 13 year old girls aren't going to be on LinkedIn. Aren't going to be on LinkedIn. And conversely, <laughs> if your audience is, are uh, male lawyers over the age of 50, I was going to say, gonna I, was gonna say the 70, I was going to say the 70 year old lawyers are not going to be on Snapchat. <laughs> Probably not. So please know your audience. And please don't feel pressured, like Joanne said, of being on too many platforms. Yeah. And I was, I was reading something the other day, and, and this is something I learned long ago when I was getting into social media. One of my mentors said this, but it, it didn't come from him. It came from somebody else. And they said, the example of being on social media is as if you are at a dinner party. Mm -hmm. How would you converse at a dinner party to maybe people you know, and then to if you're meeting someone new that you've never met, which is what social media is by definition. Right. You don't come up to them. You know, the man doesn't go up to the beautiful woman. Hi, I'm Joe. Let's get married. You know, you don't do that. You don't come don't. Hi, I, I'm Joe. I own this shoe store by my shoes. You know, you don't, it's not how you do. It's like, hey, what's going on? How, how do you know Mary if Mary's hosting the party? Yeah. Or maybe it's, Hey, I saw that you were interested in, you know, that book they were talking about or whatever. That's, it's called yeah. social for a reason. Well, 
And you know where I find, and this is, this is by no means, uh, this is by no means being negative towards a specific industry, Mm -hmm. but for me, at least here locally, Mm -hmm. where I'm finding that type of mistake, uh, marketing wise, local marketing and social marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like a true networking event you attend to in person. Right. Exactly. Is like you were saying, it's kind of like that cocktail party feel Mm -hmm. that you want to pass over into the social media Mm -hmm. is the people that are just starting with some type of a multi-level marketing. Don't get me started on that. Hi, my name is Joanne. Nice to meet you. Would you like to try some Nerium? I'm so oh, sorry. I'm, just, I'm just giving it an example. I'm not saying you're anything not, about you're not, I'm, Yeah, you're not hammering you know, it. Or, still in the name of whatever some, or I sell Young Living Oils because I actually am a distributor for Young Living Oils. So probably nobody knows that. I could go on a whole rant about multi-level marketing and direct marketing. And let me do the caveat here. <laughs> I'm not hacking that as a business model. What I'm hacking are the people that don't know the business it. that yeah. are doing those that are doing it wrong and they're teaching others to do it wrong. But a lot of it, I mean, yeah, and I could be wrong. Though. I could be wrong oh. in this. You know, please correct me in the comment section. But I know a lot of these strategies are taught from the uplines and are taught by the recommendations of the company you know, sell to your friends, sell to your family, sell, 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 instead of socially connecting with people and building that bond and having them naturally find out what you do. And then if they don't become a customer of yours, they could potentially be a salesperson or Mm-hmm. Hey, I heard so and so might be interested in using this product, or I know somebody that sells Mary Kay. I know somebody that sells Unique, or I know somebody that can save you money on energy. On right. I mean, I'm right. trying to come up with all of them that are out there. It's not just. And in your defense, those methods worked back in the '60s, the '70s, and the yeah. '80s because it was cheaper than direct mail. You know, but yeah. the methods for that media face to face is different than direct mail is and was is different than copywriting long form things on a website mm-hmm. is different than social media yeah so Some I, overlap happens but please stop doing yeah. that so when it comes to social media you really need to be present on that particular platform. And what I mean by that is if you have a business page, you need to, in addition to sharing other people's content, Mm -hmm. you need to create your own unique content. But more so often when people are commenting back to you, you need to comment back to them and actually have a conversation. And when you're sharing something of yours or you're sharing an article, don't mm-hmm. just share the article. We've right. talked about this on some of our, our ambush videos. You can mm-hmm. check those out. We have a, we have a, a playlist on those ambush videos. Mm-hmm. That's one of the common mistakes. It's like, say something that gets people to talk to you in the comments of the thing that you're posting. Make it to read the article. You know, if you're sharing it for a reason, like one of the things I say, say it's a top 10 list of whatever, blah, blah, blah my comment would be, I really love this. My favorite was number seven. Yeah. What was yours? And it makes them go read it, you know? And even so, even, so we're talking about, so that would be like Facebook. So Mm -hmm. another perfect example is, is like YouTube videos. So Mm -hmm. for those of you who do YouTube videos, I have a channel uh, that's a Joanne plans channel where I do uh, haul videos and planner videos and kind of all just, you know, Chotsky type videos. What I've been doing more so lately is when I'm talking to them and I'm asking them and Mm -hmm. I ask them a question and I'll say, especially because I want to see who's watching the the last video, I I hauled a, a container of pretend a container of cheese. Mm -hmm. No, I, I first hauled the bag of pretzels and I said, here is the bag of pretzels and comment below if you know 
why I haul pretzels. Why I got the, yeah. And there were people that'll say, cheese, 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 cheese. Yeah, they say, you haul the pretzels because you love that cheese and you have pretzels and cheese when you watch The Walking Dead on Sunday nights. Exactly. And people are watching my videos. And that's what social is. Yeah, and they're because I asked them a question, they answered me. We're having a conversation. So I continue the conversation in the comments and, mm -hmm. and, and comment back to them. So doing that, uh, you can do that on any of the platforms. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think what people don't understand about social media, and I'm going to bring this up because the thought just came in my brain. Like, like I was illustrating, you know, it's, it's how you would converse with someone, for example, at a dinner party, you know, yep. I think what people forget or what maybe they haven't realized, maybe it isn't something they've forgotten. Just like Joanne illustrated there with, she makes a video of herself by herself talking to a camera and it's not live when people view it. They may view it that day. They may view it a month later, two years later, you know, mm -hmm. depending on when she uploaded that video. But when they upload it, I mean, when they view it, it's as if the viewer is there live with her, yep. even though this was something in the past. So it's kind of like a silent conversation that they're having via comments on her video yep. and then Joanne can respond back. And so you need to think of it in that context of if someone a year from now reads this and likes comment shares or whatever, how will I relate with them? Whereas yeah. like she was saying, if you're just posting an article and they hit the like button a year from now, you may have forgotten why you posted that article if you didn't exactly. write it. So if you, if you kind of give yourself a prompt on, Hey, I read these top 10, number seven was my favorite. What was yours? And then they come back and say, well, mine was number five because blah, blah, blah. Then it'll trigger your memory. And that's what, it's just like having a conversation. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I remember when we did that back in high school. Exactly. So it's, it's social. It's, it's a building a relationship situation yeah. with other human beings. Yeah. And if you can, and if you make that connection, and this is what I've always said since day one, <clears throat> excuse me, when you make that connection with people or they connect with you, they are more likely to buy from you mm -hmm. and trust you and trust you over other people that do that, that do the exact same thing as you, you know, there are a ton of people, for example, I do, accounting and taxes for a ton of photographers right. okay they are all a lot of them are wedding photographers mm -hmm. in this area but they each have their own unique selling proposition exactly and the way they handle their clients the way their personalities are is going to attract some clients than others i have one for example that has that wears a lot of uh, wears that has a lot of tattoos she actually offers a 15% discount to brides who have a tattoo. Oh, how fun. I so, love that. Yeah. So it's just having that, that connection with, mm -hmm. you know, those type of people and mm -hmm. those type of connections can help you get those people to buy, buy from it. It doesn't happen overnight, no. but if you start that dinner cocktail party mm -hmm. in a conversation, mm -hmm. And a few glasses of wine, well, you might not get the marriage proposal, but you never know. <laughs> you might get the first date at least. At the end of the night. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's it's really we're we're joking, but but it's it's true. Let's say Joanne and I went to a party together. I know everybody there. She's my guest. Nobody knows her. Hey, Wesley, what's going on? Oh, hey, Mary, everything's great. What's going on with you? Oh, well, who's this with you? Oh, yeah, this is Joanne. She does so and so. I introduce her, right? I mean, that's like normal. That's what you do. Yeah. Okay. Well, guess what? We're here on the screen together right now. And Joanne, before we did this, was a member of my community on YouTube. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I was a stalker. And so not only has she been having given credibility by me because of my audience that trusted me, and they're like, well, if Wesley trusts Joanne than I do too. I'm going to go over and subscribe to her channel and vice versa. Joanne, you know, on her own has built her own channel. She's mentioned me, had me on as guest, whatever. Oh, I trust Joanne. If she likes Wesley, I'm going to check her out too. Mm -hmm. And that's the social part of the building the network 
And that's where it's like, for example, if I shared something Joanne created on my page, that's great. But what about if I made a comment on something I shared? What about if I went over to Joanne's page directly and say, hey, woman, I shared this article over on my page just to let you know. It's she and I communicating together. Yeah. And then she can go, oh, thanks for the props. Mm -hmm. And then her audience may go, well, who's this Wesley person and why is she sharing Joanne's stuff? She'll click, she'll go over, see my page. And it's like, oh, I like what Wesley has to say too. Yeah. I'm going to follow her as well. Yeah. And that's why you have to interact. You can't just throw stuff up on the wall, yeah. expecting it to stick and the whole world's going to come beating a path to your door. It doesn't happen that way. Yeah. It's, it's not one of those jelly hand yeah. things that you slap up against the wall. Exactly. And it kind of, <laughs> kind of falls off. Falls down eventually because it's not grabbing on anything. So that's the end of the rant today, guys. The, just be social on social media. That's all I'm saying. Drop the mic. Walk off the stage. Yes. Mic drop. <laughs> right? Hashtag mic drop. Hashtag. Hashtag mic drop. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you guys get that about being social? Leave it in the comments below. Do you if think you we're actually, totally out of our minds and you think that it's okay to just post random stuff? That's okay. Put it in the comments and we'll, yeah, we'll I'm just we'll lock you outwardly. So. <laughs> well, I just wonder at times if it's that, like, is what we're saying that clear? To me, it's like, so logical that yeah, you have it's to like when you share something, if you want people to engage, you have to give them a reason to engage. Yeah. Obviously sharing the ugly or the ugly cat, the angry cat, it's funny and you could get a reaction to it, sure. but if you actually commented or said something about it, you could probably garner somebody to actually mm -hmm. respond more than they normally would mm -hmm. if you didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. So and, yeah. and as a side note, I know we're wrapping up here, but as a side note, if you find like at the very beginning, Joanne was saying that this particular client of hers was saying, I'm doing all this stuff and I ain't getting no traction. So my whole thing is if you're posting stuff, take these tips that we've mentioned obviously today, but also if you're not getting anything, then it's time to give. What does that mean? Go over to other people's channels, go to their Twitter profiles, go to you know, whatever platform you're on, go seek out people, comment on their stuff they've posted. That's, that's big, get yourself yeah. noticed on other people's, especially the businesses that you want to try to connect with or the exactly. people that you want to connect with. Absolutely. No man is an island, Yeah. you know, so you can't exist in a vacuum. You've got to interact with people. And if you're not getting what you want, then you need to start giving. If you want comments on your posts, go over and comment on other people's posts. Very yeah. simple. So that is it for us today, guys. I am Joanne from Be Socially Awesome. And you guys, we're hoping you guys, are, this is going to help you guys get ready to be awesome on being social on social media. Mm -hmm. And uh, this over here is... And I am Wesley GW of Get Real Luck. With Wesley GW about do social media the right way. People yeah. know what needs to be done. Stop being afraid of it and reach out and make friends with strangers that you may never meet. Exactly. All right, guys. Peace out. <laughs> See you in our next video. <laughs> we're, not sure, we're not sure what the topic is, so make sure you hit that subscribe button below. It's red and it's free. Uh, so that way you'll be notified when we do upload that next video because this is the last video of this recording session. So we probably will not be picking up again recording until after she moves. After mid-June. Mid-June, so... Yeah. I'm guessing they're probably getting sick of seeing us in these outfits. So yeah, we probably better change. Yeah. Whew. Stinky. All I'll right, guys. We wear the same clothes. Whew. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.